Another NFL season is just around the corner, and despite my disagreement with the protesters in the league, I'm a jock at heart. So here's my thoughts on the NFL in general and predictions for this upcoming season. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Kingadis. It's the first full week of the NFL preseason, and of course, we had a few players protest during the National Anthem. Three from the Miami Dolphins, two from the Philadelphia Eagles, and one from the San Francisco 49ers. Now, to be fair, only two players out of the six that protested actually took a knee. Dolphins wide receivers Albert Wilson and Kenny Stills, both of whom received praise for their lack of standing during the anthem from unemployed quarterback Colin Kaepernick. All right, here's my take. Do I agree with the player protests? Of course not. I was taught from an early age that respect for the land you live in equals respect for the people around you. However, I'm not going to let a bunch of overpaid, attention-seeking players ruin my love of sports. I'm still going to watch my Bears play every Sunday, and no protester is going to change my mind. Just because the NFL brass didn't have the footballs to stick to their new anthem rules that they released in May only to suspend the policy two months later doesn't mean I have to stop watching something I've watched my whole life. On that note, can we say thank God for the NFL addressing their previously horrible catch rules? We saw way too many questionable calls over the past few years on plays that should have been catches ruled not a catch. That changes this year. The rule for what constitutes a catch has now been clearly defined by the NFL competition committee and it's pretty simple too control of the ball two feet or another body part down a football move such as a third step reaching or extending in order to gain more yardage or the ability to perform such an act the NFL has also strengthened their rules on plays involving use of the helmet. Basically, you're not allowed to lower your head anymore when you're going for a tackle. I guess the old standard of getting low to tackle an opponent coming at you is gone. With the new rule changes, expect scoring to increase this season. Finally, I want to talk about my predictions for the 2018 season, including the playoffs. In the AFC, I've got the Jacksonville Jaguars, New England Patriots, Los Angeles Chargers, and Pittsburgh Steelers winning their respective divisions this year, with the Tennessee Titans and Kansas City Chiefs making the playoffs as wildcard teams. Personally, I think the AFC Championship game will feature the visiting Patriots losing to who I think will be the best team in the AFC this year, simply for how good their defense is, the Jaguars. In the NFC, my predictions have the Atlanta Falcons, Philadelphia Eagles, Los Angeles Rams, and Green Bay Packers winning their divisions. That last one hurts as a Chicago Bears fan, but I predict with my head, not my heart. The New Orleans Saints and the Minnesota Vikings are the teams I'm picking to secure wildcard spots for the NFC. My picks for the NFC Championship game will have the visiting Rams defeating the Atlanta Falcons, even though I think the Falcons will have home field advantage throughout the playoffs. When it's all said and done, the Rams will play the Jags to see who will hoist the Lombardi Trophy this year. I just think the Rams have too many pieces in a lot of key positions, both on defense and offense, for the Jags to handle. So I've got the Rams beating the Jags by a score of 31 to 19 in the Super Bowl. Both Los Angeles teams look to be in contention to bring home some hardware this season. That's why I have the Rams running back Todd Gurley winning the MVP, Chargers defensive end Joey Bosa winning the Defensive Player of the Year, and Chargers coach Anthony Lynn bringing home the Coach of the Year trophy. I've got New York Giants running back Saquon Barkley winning the Offensive Rookie of the Year award, and Denver Broncos pass rusher Bradley Chubb taking the Defensive Rookie of the Year award back to the Mile High City. Those are my predictions, folks. With all of the roster shuffling that went on this offseason, along with the decently deep draft, the 2018 NFL season should prove to be an exciting one. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like or a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube page, and smash that notification bell so you'll know when our latest videos are uploaded. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Kingadis.